aggression. Here at home, new details in the indictment against the Aberdeen mayor, Maurice Howard. We first told you about the charges against him back in October. Howard faces a court date in February for allegedly embezzling more than $3,000 from the city. Our Quentin Smith has been following this story since it broke. He now joins us live in the studio with a breakdown. Quentin. Yes, Scott, in my hand is the five count indictment being brought against Mayor Howard. Now, the alleged embezzlements happened over a five month period from April of 2017 to September of 2017. While the charges are being brought against the mayor, he maintains his innocence and says he has receipts to prove it. The mayor is not, nor has ever been, a thief. This was Mayor Maurice Howard back in October after being arrested on embezzlement charges. Fast forward till today, he's still echoing that same message. There's no embezzlement. There's embezzle lie. These, these charges are false. They're erroneous claims. Details are being released on the five count indictment against Howard. On the first count, Howard is accused of taking just over $400 that was supposed to be used for attending a development authority class in Jackson. The second count states the mayor took more than $1,200 that was supposed to be used for a development trip in Michigan. On count three, Howard allegedly took just over $1,100 that was supposed to be used for attending a Huddle House investment meeting in Atlanta, Georgia. The fourth count accuses the mayor of embezzling a little more than $360. The indictment states those funds were given to Howard to go to a 10 time conference in Alabama. The fifth and final count accuses Howard of taking $285, which was supposed to be used for attending a governor's conference in Jackson. Now, according to the indictment, Howard did not attend these events, nor did he use the money for its designated purposes. However, Howard calls all of these accusations false. He says he turned in all of his receipts regarding the trips in question. Howard claims the circuit clerk's office falsified his receipts when they turned them into the state auditor's office because they have a personal vendetta against him. It's just like this. If I feel like I can't beat you, then I have to falsify things against you to try and bring you down. It's, it's a, po a political assassination. It's done all over the country. Mm -hmm. You know, it just happened to be in my neck of the woods at this moment. So if I feel like I can't beat you, what's the next best thing? Hmm, let's create some falsified charges and see if they stick. The mayor says he has his receipts showing he took every trip and did not misuse a single dime. However, when asked if we could see the receipts, Howard had this to say. You say you have your receipts for these events. Uh, is there a way we could see them? Because that'll really prove your case. Well, I'm not trying to prove my case to you. <laughs> I don't have to prove my case to the media. I have to prove my case to uh, those people in the proper places. And so this is not the court of law. This is not that time for that. The mayor tells me he pled not guilty to those charges. We asked the city clerk's office and asked him did the mayor Howard turn in his receipts and we're still waiting to hear back from them. Court records show Howard is expected to appear before a judge on February 11th.